very much for your speech, Mr. Gunderson, and thank you also for creating a website in Japanese uh, so that um, uh, Japanese, um, like ourselves, can read and learn about um, what you're saying. My uh, concern, my interest is to eliminate nuclear power plants from Japan, but um, it seems like uh, there is a certain group of people that are saying that there is such a thing as safe nuclear power plants. In your presentation, you suggested that it's possible to build a safe nuclear power plant, but because of the uh, money issue, it would be difficult to do so. Yes, Switzerland yes. moved away from nuclear power uh, because they decided that it's not possible to build um, safe nuclear power economically. Also, there are some uh, movements suggesting that GE is to virtually withdraw from nuclear power. So is it possible to have a safe nuclear power plant economically, or is it economically viable to have a nuclear power plant that are safe? Thank you for your <coughs> kind words about the Fairwind site. Um, if there are um, um, multilingual speakers here, we, we are desperate for people to um, help us convert the English text into Japanese. So uh, if there's anyone who could volunteer on the contact on our site, um, we, would, we would love to have people take our English text and help us convert it over. To, to your question, um, I believe that nuclear power can be safe, but it can't be inexpensive and safe at the same time. And if the, if the playing field were level, and subsidies were taken off the table, we would find that nuclear power is, is too expensive to, um, uh, to build. We've been trying to get nuclear power right since 1940, the first nuclear reactor. Uh, so we've got over 70 years of, uh, of experience and still um, we haven't been able to develop a safe plan that's also economic. I, I've said that uh, when you have a, a child and they're 20 years old, it's okay if they come back to your home. And, and when they get to 30, it, it's okay if they have bad times to have them back to your home. But when they get to be 70 years old, it's time that they go out and succeed on their own, which of course is not happening with nuclear power. So I think there is a place for subsidies um, for, for, for windmills or for um, distributed generation or for solar panels. But at some point, the technology should be um, rigorous enough to stand on its own two feet. And the, the problems at Manju and the problems at, uh, with the recycling plants indicate to me that this technology is always going to need subsidies. So nuclear power can be inexpensive or it can be safe, but it can't be both. Thank you. Regarding unit number four, now I understand that it's, uh, quite, it's in a quite dangerous state, but I also understand that at the moment it is not such that uh, you can take the fuel out uh, readily. So that means I would think uh, you have to reinforce the fuel pool, but um, the way the fuel pool is reinforced, is it enough or is it strong enough from your point of view? You can begin to remove the fuel in the fuel pool now. There's 600 bundles that are cool enough that they could be removed now. So that means that two-thirds of all of the dangerous material can be removed right now. The remainder needs about another year or a year and a half. Um, but while the other fuel is being moved, it will be getting cooler and cooler. And Tokyo Electric made a mistake when they were <coughs> emptying the nuclear reactor and putting it in the nuclear fuel pool. In America, we would have taken one bundle out and put it in one corner of the fuel pool, and another bundle out and put it in another corner of the fuel pool. What Tokyo Electric did was put all the hot bundles together. We call that um, checkerboarding. But Tokyo Electric can avoid the area that's very hot 
and remove all of the fuel from the other areas as soon as possible. And when, by the time that process is done, the remainder will be cool enough that it too can be removed. Petco is saying that um, the nuclear power plant can withstand up to uh, six on the Richter scale, or Shinto six. And, um, but if you look at what happened with Sumatra, the uh, very strong uh, aftershocks took place three years or five years after the uh, main earthquake. So you, we cannot rule out the possibility of uh, having an aftershock of uh, seven on the Richter scale. And uh, it, as I read your book, and if the fuel pool is to catch fire, and if you had to throw water on, on top of that, that would make things even worse. And you also say in your book that um, there is no way to stop this, or at least there's no expertise or experience uh, to suggest any way to stop this from happening. But if this is to happen, if this uh, worst case scenario is to happen, and if the fuel, um, sorry, nuclear fuel pool is to collapse, and if the fuel bundles are to start burning, uh, what can we possibly do as like an emergency measure to take? Um, we have to remember that after uh, the Sumatra earthquake, which was a 9, um, 18 months later there was an 8-4 as an aftershock. On, your other, on the broader question of um, uh, can an earthquake um, great enough to crack the pool occur, I think the answer is yes. Um, I, I, I pray that it will wait for five years before it comes, but I don't know when it will come. So it's important to move as fast as possible. The harder part of your question is, what if it happens before all the fuel is out of the pool? You're right, water will not put out the fire. What will happen is that the zircaloy will split the water, water is H2O, it will take the oxygen, give off hydrogen, and, and cause an explosion. Now, I have been contacted by fire protection engineers who have told me there are chemicals you can put on a pyrophoric fire. Pyro, pyrophoric means um, it, um, uh, water cannot put it out. Um, so there are chemicals that can be used to put on a pyrophoric fire uh, that will put it out. Now, I am, I am not a fire protection engineer. But I think that Tokyo Electric believes it won't happen, so therefore is not prepared if it will happen. <laughs> Chemicals could be pre-positioned on site in the unlikely event there is a fire, so that they could react if it was. And I don't believe that um, Tokyo Electric's imagination uh, allows them to consider that as possible. <laughs>